Patty Spittler is here, brought to you by Gray Day TV, but conveniently with a pet pal on hand, too. <laughs> International opera star Angela Brown is here with her puppy, Jazz. And you two are here, or three, I should say, <laughs> are here to talk about a plea for healing. It's a community-wide prayer service? Yes, a community-wide prayer service that will be convened by me on March 7th at 6.30 p.m. at St. Paul's Episcopal Church. That's wonderful. And we do have, before we get into some more information here, mm -hmm. I want you to hear Angela and what she can do is truly amazing. So yeah, let's, let's roll on. Oh, this is awesome. And your resume, list of experiences, accolades, the stages you have starred on. I mean, it's endless. We could take up the rest of midday talking about it. But it's all rooted here in Indianapolis, Indiana University. Yes, I'm born and raised here in Indianapolis. And I say that I have cut my teeth on theater and singing right here in Indy. So if it's something you want to do, just go for it because you can do it from here and springboard to the world. Absolutely. I am definitely uh, that young girl that did good. <laughs> you, did, you did more from than Indianapolis. Good. Okay. And yes. tell us about why you want to do this plea to bring people together. What's behind this? Well, you know, in 2005, I was invited to the White House, well, really to the National Cathedral, to do a plea, a, a prayer service there. Uh, for the victims of Her Hurricane Katrina. And T.D. Jakes was the speaker, and it was at the behest of uh, George W. Bush. And they did this program that's very much like the one that I'm presenting. I was so impressed with it, I wanted to bring it to Indianapolis. It's a uh, prayer service or a plea for healing uh, that will encompass interfaith uh, uh, leaders, civic leaders, art, arts leaders, and we all come together. It doesn't matter what, oh, she want to go to you, she Miss Patty. Wa I gave oh, she her wants kiss, to walk all the know. way across the table. <laughs> but it doesn't, it truly doesn't matter what you believe in. This is an opportunity for us to come together and just give a collective sigh of relief for a moment. Yes. So much has happened mm -hmm. in our community and the world since 2020, the lockdown. Uh, civil unrest, uh, uh, all kinds of violence. I mean, it's just mental health mental issues, health, oh, lots of things. So this is just an opportunity <laughs> for us all just to come together and just give our neighbor a big old squeeze and oh, hug oh, and appreciate oh, the oh, life that we have oh. and to let others know that, you know, we care. We care. How yeah. special and powerful this event sounds in the making and to do it in your hometown. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I am so blessed to have been uh, granted the grant mm -hmm. to do this uh, from the St. Paul's um, Episcopal uh, Church's uh, initiative, Faith, Justice, and the Arts. Mm -hmm. And this will be a program that will t touch on all those things, Faith, yeah. Justice, and the Arts. And the jewel piece to this program is a piece that was written uh, really before the pandemic uh, and all that with George Floyd uh, called Black Lives Curie. It will have a soloist, which will be me, a spoken word artist. Um, it will have uh, uh, ensemble, drumming, it's going to be fabulous. Um, it's going to be fabulous. Incredible. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Oh, I'd yeah. love to talk more about it. You have more of it of Great Day TV. Well, yes, and also and we need, oh, here is Plea for Healing. Yes. I want you to give Jazz back because she's Jazz is going to sing with Okay, me. if we could do it in just a couple just of seconds. Couple. <laughs> She did. She's like, Mama, I'm here. I'm here, Mama. I can feel it. Ladies, I'm start to say, oh, you're wonderful. Thank, thank you. Watch thank Great you. Day TV and Pet Pals TV every Saturday morning. We appreciate you so oh, much. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was